प्लीज बी रेडी फॉर ए डिक्टेशन ऑफ पार्ट वन ऑफ ए मटीरियल टेकन फ्रॉम द विकीपीडिया ऑन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया विच कैन बी सूटेबल फॉर डी डी सी पी ए स्किल एंड एनी अदर स्किल एग्जाम फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया इज द लीडर ऑफ द एग्जीक्यूटिव ब्रांच ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज द चीफ एडवाइजर टू द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया and the head of the union council of ministers they can be a member of any of the two houses of the parliament of india the lok sabha house of the people and the rajya sabha council of the states but has to be a member of the political party or coalition having a majority in the lok sabha the prime minister is the senior most member of cabinet in the executive of government in a parliamentary system the prime minister selects and can dismiss members of the cabinet allocates posts to members within the government and is the presiding member and chairperson of the cabinet the union cabinet headed by the prime minister is appointed by the president of india to assist the latter in the administration of the affairs of the executive union cabinet is collectively responsible to the lok sabha as per article 753 of the constitution of india the prime minister has to enjoy the confidence of a majority in the lok sabha and shall resign if they are unable to prove majority when instructed by the president India follows a parliamentary system in which the prime minister is the presiding head of the government and chief of the executive of the government in such systems the head of state or the head of states official representative that is the monarch president or governor general usually holds a purely ceremonial position and acts on most matters only on the advice of the prime minister the prime minister if they are not already shall become a member of parliament within 6 months of beginning his her tenure a prime minister is expected to work with other central ministers to ensure the passage of bills by the parliament Since 1947 there have been 14 different prime ministers the first few decades after 1947 saw the indian national congress almost complete domination over the political map of india india's first prime minister jawaharlal nehru took oath on 15 august 1947 Nehru went on to serve as prime minister for 17 consecutive years winning four general elections in the process his tenure ended in may 1964 on his death after the death of nehru lal bahadur shastri a former home minister and a leader of the congress party ascended to the position of prime minister shastri's tenure saw the indo pakistani war of 1965 shastri subsequently died of a reported heart attack in tashkent after signing the tashkent declaration after shastri indira gandhi nehru's daughter was elected as the country's first woman prime minister indira's first term in office lasted 11 years in which she took steps such as nationalization of banks and of allowances and political posts which were received by members of the royal families of the erstwhile princely states of british india in addition events such as the indo pakistani war of 1971 the establishment of a sovereign bangladesh accession of sikkim to india through a referendum in 1975 and india's first nuclear test in pokhran occurred during indira's first term in 1975 president fakhruddin ali ahmed on indira's advice 
imposed a state of emergency therefore bestowing the government with the power to rule by decree the period is known for human right violations stop